On today's episode of People Just Saying Anything, comedian and actress Monique responds to her son Shalon's TikTok videos and says F him. Just watch the video. I only apologize if I've done something wrong, but I ain't no bitch that's gonna back up from a motherfucking problem. I'ma walk straight to that motherfucker and I'ma deal with that shit. So today I'm coming through the airport in North New Jersey. It's the realest niggas I've ever met from North New Jersey. I'm coming to that motherfucking airport and I've been just seeing this motherfucking TikTok <laughs> of my goddamn son. <laughs> Had I known that nigga was going to do a TikTok today, I brought him home. I'm gonna let y'all take that one. <laughs> and when you see your child that you fuck for, <laughs> I fucked for that nigga, not another bitch, it was me. And you see your motherfucking child go on a goddamn internet and tell people all the fuck that you're not. Oh, fuck that and you just supposed to take that shit in stride. And I'm taking that shit in stride. And I'm walking through the motherfucking North Airport and this elderly woman comes up to me. She said, Monique. I said, ma'am. <laughs> Cause I'm a respectful bitch, baby. I'm a respect this bitch. She old. <laughs> she said, let me talk to you for a minute. So I had prepared myself for this old woman to tell me how fucked up I was. I prepared myself to be respectful, but to check a bitch if I had to. I prepared myself to listen. She said, listen. My grandbaby called me and told me to watch this goddamn TikTok of your son. And I watched that shit. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I want to tell you something. I said, ma'am. She said, fuck that nigga. <laughs> I said, oh, bitch, fuck that nigga. That part. And when the elderly people tell you, fuck that nigga, you ain't fuck that nigga. She said, you been taking care of that nigga all his motherfucking life. She said, Monique, I'm 80 years old, and I got a son 60 years old. And every time that nigga don't get what he want, he still tell me how fucked up I was when he was 10 years old. <laughs> fuck that nigga. She said, and this is Black History Month, and I had to do a job that don't nobody talk about when they was out there in that civil rights march fighting and shit. I had a job to do. She said, I was one of the hoes of the civil rights movement. I said, bitch, I'm not playing with you. She said, somebody had to keep them niggas drained. And just like that, she lost me. This is very sad. To take your son's trauma that we clearly seen the impact of you on his face. To make it a topic of your comedy tour is insane. Yeah, I'm on Brody's side, cause at this point, y'all don't fuck with each other, and that's sad for a mother and son. This is the same Monique who wants Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey to make amends to her, but can't do for her own kid. For someone who's concerned about how black people present themselves in public, she's too comfortable talking shit about her son in public. This is exactly why the new generation cut family and anyone who don't respect them off now. This is bad. You don't do your child like that no matter what your relationship is or what they have done. And if she did it for comedy purposes, it wasn't even funny. We can now see the reputation as being difficult to work with wasn't far-fetched. She's clearly someone who refuses to take any form of responsibility. She feels that she's above reproach and all conflict is everyone's fault. She's always the victim, but who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.